peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing villain, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? May your butterball turkey be salty as fuck. God damn it. But on the real, though. <laughs> but on the real, man. Hey, I want to talk to you guys today about the art of Damon Dash. Damon Dash is one of my favorite heroes, man. Arrogant as fuck. Knows what he wants. So, so swaggerific with it. But one thing that I admire about Damon Dash that I model myself after when I may get into a comfort zone or I get a bit fearful about something is the art of flipping your money. Now, I'll explain Damon Dash art of flipping. Damon Dash is very comfortable with not having money. Why? And when, when I say not having money, I mean actually having large sums of money just sitting in a bank doing nothing because that's what that's actually what it does. When you're hoarding money like that, it, it's sitting in the bank. Your bank has executives that are finding ways to make your money work. Okay, so you don't know how to make your money work? We do. Just put it into our vault and we'll make that shit work and we'll give you 3% on your money. Fuck that. Damon Dash model is much, much different. It's like, well, I'm going to be my own bank and whatever money cash flow I have coming in, I'm going to make sure that I put it right back out into the world so it can work for me. I'm going to make these dead presidents work for me. And I admire that. I model that. I do everything in my power. When you hone down on a high income skill, as Dan Locke would call it, a high income skill, like for myself, it's sales and marketing, meaning I can make a fortune, lose it tomorrow, make a fortune tomorrow. So I can continually make and lose all goddamn day because I know how to detach people from money and make it my own. And that is what I try to show you guys and teach you guys through these videos. It's very entertaining for me. I do this shit for free. I don't get paid to do this podcast. It's entertaining for me. And it, it's fantastic to see people use my model and say, dude, I took a page out of your book and boom, I actually made income from it. That is huge for me. I love hearing stories like that. I hear them every day. So the Dame Dash model looks like this. Boom, you just got, let's just say you made a, a sale for like $500, right? Instead of you just hoarding and sitting and putting that money in the bank, Damon Dash would take maybe 10%, 20%. Well, well, Damon Dash is more extreme with it. Damon Dash would probably take like 400 of that $500. And he will invest that into YouTube or building out a studio or buying microphones and uh, video equipment to build up a studio. He puts it right back in. And what that does is those dead presidents are working for you. Those dead presidents are working for you now. Now it's not like it's just hoarding and sitting in a bank collecting 3% interest. Now you're obtaining valuable assets. You're creating, you're turning liabilities into assets now. For instance, I'll give you an example. In one of my businesses, every single sale that I generate from that business I take a portion of that sale and I dump it into Google AdWords. I dump it into Google ads. And what happens then I build up such a, a, a credit with Google that I can afford to maximize my, 
my reach potential. So instead of me targeting just Cook County of Illinois, now I can target Lake County, Illinois, DuPage County, Lake County, Indiana, Wisconsin, California. You understand? So I put that money right back out to dominate as much space as possible. That is what you do because in this game here, the person that can afford to put a little more money into advertisement wins the game. The person that can afford to put a little more money into marketing and advertising and occupying space wins the game. That's why when you see kooky, quirky commercials like Geico and you see progressive insurance, they're trying to occupy space. And where are they occupying space? In your mind. In your mind. They want to occupy space in your mind. So they're pushing other companies out of your mind. When you see companies say, we're, we're the number one so-and-so or we're the ultimate so-and-so, that's bullshit. How can, you know, according to who, J.D. Powers, that's just another goddamn company. So you have to look at it as they're trying to occupy space into your mind. The person that occupies the most space, like if I gave you a couple of trigger questions, name a luxury car. The first thing that may come to your mind right now may be Mercedes Benz, BMW, Maybach, depending on your level of what you consider uh, to be a luxury vehicle, Tesla, right? If I say, burger franchise, what do you think of? First thing in your mind may be McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. You understand? They're occupying the space in your mind because when you look at these big companies, when I, okay, let's use another one. Let's say sneakers. What's the first company that comes to your mind? Nike, Adidas, Reeboks. You understand? So they're spending all of this money on marketing and advertising because they want to occupy the space in your mind. So when it's time for you to purchase a product, you don't think about no one else but them. When I get some money, I'm going to buy me a luxurious vehicle. What kind of vehicle you got to buy? A Mercedes. That's the first thing I'm going to buy. You understand? When I get some money, I'm going to buy me a go. I'm going to go buy a pair of Jordans. They're occupying the space in your mind. That is the name of the game. So when you take your money like Damon Dash does and put it in back into your business, whether it's hiring a virtual assistant, whether it's like myself right now, I'm about to, I'm about to go in on these YouTube videos. I'm going to be hiring a YouTube uh, optimizer. So all of those videos, I have about maybe 120 videos up right now. Uh, over 10,000 views, I want to get it up to a million views. I'm going to hire someone to optimize every single fucking video I have on YouTube. That is going to give me a broader reach, reach more people in different countries and become one of the top influencers in sales and marketing. So you take your money, don't hoard that shit, don't spend it on frivolous shit, Take it and flip it. You may not see it immediately. You have to have a long-term goal and a short-term goal. This short-term goal is going to bring me money immediately. This long-term goal right here, as far as making a, a hundred and some plus videos, YouTube is only going to get better. Let me put someone in place for that. So may your butterball turkey be salty as fuck. Get back to work, goddammit. Peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. Peace.